Hi guys, it's Naturally Mayor here and today I'm here to show you how I achieve this pineapple updo which is a style that I used to do all the time in the beginning stages of being natural. I haven't done it in a while so I thought let's bring this style back. Okay, so I'm going to show you all what my hair is currently looking like. Now don't judge me, my hair has been in a sew-in for about a month maybe three weeks to a month. And I'm gonna be using Jari hair care products to get my hair all the way together because it was looking a mess. Like, my hair looks horrible. But we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you all how I completed this look from start to finish. I begin by using my Groove Scalp Massager by Vanity Planet. This scalp massager is so awesome. It's so invigorating and relaxing. I absolutely love it. It is battery operated and you want to make sure that you put a double A battery on the inside, just one. It does come with a screwdriver, however it does not come with a battery. If you use Mary 50, you can actually get 50% off. I just love this scalp massager. It helps me to eliminate the process of using my fingers. I began a scalp massaging journey in order to help promote hair growth maybe about five months ago but I got so tired of using my fingers that I just stopped the journey. I wasn't consistent with it at all but now that I have the scalp massager I use that regularly. It is so much better and so much more convenient and it feels amazing. So I begin by using apple cider vinegar to do a rinse and I simply use this as a substitute for shampoo. I haven't found a shampoo, even those that are sulfate free that isn't drying. So after using my apple cider vinegar rinse, I proceed to use the scalp massager which felt so awesome. It felt like I was in heaven. I just loved it. It was so relaxing. So I'm going to apply my co-wash by Jari. Um, they have a co-wash that's very moisturizing. I'm applying that to my hair after the apple cider vinegar rinse to further cleanse my scalp. And then I'm going to proceed to use that scalp massager again. I probably used this scalp massager for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes. And oh my god, my scalp felt so amazing afterward. washing process I proceed to deep condition and I'm just using Aussie three minute I put the deep conditioner on my hair proceeded to twist my hair in six chunky twists and allow it to sit for about three to five minutes while I was taking a shower then I rinsed it out and then I applied my Jari juicy curls leave-in conditioner <laughs> Now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to begin to style my hair. The style that I chose is a braid and curl style. I'm just going to be braiding and curling my hair in order to gain definition for my pineapple updo. I'm using Jari Twist Out Cream and it is very creamy, very moisturizing. It doesn't really have a smell to it, but that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to proceed to braid and then I'm going to use flexi rods on the ends of my hair for added curl. When you ain't by my side, when you don't make a mess to me, you're me incomplete. I need you here tonight to cover up these empty sheets, cause I'm incomplete. 
different size flexi rods I have a variety pack and that was really done um, just based off of me not having consistent colors so you can do it with all the same color you can do it with a variety of colors I really didn't see much of a difference in choosing to do it with different size um, curlers my hair pretty much looked the same but I had the variety pack so I just went with that after installing all of my flexi rods and all of my braids, I did put on my protective headband by Her Given Hair. I'll leave the link down in the description box. This protective style headband is great for big hair. My hair is currently not big because I'm using my natural hair to achieve this style. However, with the flexi rods and everything, it is more comfortable to use the protective style headband and it does have satin inner lining, which is very good for protecting your natural hair and ensuring that it's well maintained. It's the next morning and I'm also oh excited to see the results. I'm currently wearing a shirt by Romwe. I'll leave the link in the description box for this particular top. It comes with a matching choker and I've been all about off the shoulder this season. I, need your hair tonight to come. I allow my hair to air dry overnight. However, even with my hair air drying overnight, it still wasn't fully dry. My hair takes a long time to dry. If you are the same way, then I need you to comment down below. It is just ridiculous. I, my hair just, uh, it, it won't cooperate. It's just disrespectful at times. I spent several hours doing my hair and then the next morning expecting for it to be fly and dry and it wasn't. So I was a little frustrated. But I just simply used my bonnet attachment to my hair dryer for about 10 to 20 minutes, allowed it to dry and that did the trick. So if you do find that your hair is not dry, don't worry. Just if you have a bonnet attachment, use that. Or sit under dryer, use that, and your hair will still look amazing. That's how I feel when the mirror shows me. Now that my hair is completely dry, I'm going to begin taking the braids down. I really did not use any type of strategy or technique in taking them down. I just simply try to be as gentle as possible so that I didn't disturb the curl pattern too much. flexi rods produce they actually look like finger coils to me and I didn't have to put in as much effort to coil my hair around my finger um, which can be very time consuming so I was very pleased with the results so after taking all the braids down I'm just going to separate my hair and I'm not gonna separate too much because I want added definition for my pineapple updo so I just separate just minimally and then I proceed to use a goodie band that was old and stretched out. I cut it in half and then proceeded to just tie it. Um, I wrapped it around I believe twice and then I just made a bow or a knot in the back and then pushed it up to the top and that's pretty much the style. It's super easy. Now y'all know I have to lay my edges so that's going to be the last step. 
To lay my edges for this style, I'm going to be using Jari Edge Control. It was very effective in laying my 4B4C hair, which is um, rare to find an edge control that can do that. I use aloe vera juice to spray onto my edges and then I proceed to apply the edge control. You can also use water prior to applying your edge control, but I just find that aloe vera juice just does so much be better for me when applying um, a product to lay down my edges. better. I went from looking like a hot mess to a success. Be sure to check the description box for all the products that were mentioned in this particular video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, share this video with a friend. I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye guys.